When someone tries a Wilcher's hot dog for the first time, they are in ecstasy. They've never had a hot dog that quite tastes like that with the same blend of our recipe. I have two well done, a single, a pop of curly, and some shakes. The classic Walter's hot dog is a single with Walter's mustard. We split it down the middle, we grill it in a secret sauce, we toast our buns, and then we slather it with Walter's mustard on top. And our mustard also is under trade secret, and that's another family recipe. We only added ketchup in 1991, so we've really kept it simple over the years because we want to highlight our hot dog and highlight the flavor of the hot dog. We're in our fifth generation of customers now, and people love coming to Walters because of the memories that they have and what it might symbolize to them and their family. We have so many people that come and that tell us stories of how they met here or how they were proposed to here. Then I came here when I was two and now I'm like 92. <laughs> Here's my great granddaughter. My great grandfather, Walter Warrington, founded Walters Hot Dogs in 1919. He built a small shack on the side of Boston Post Road Nine years later, he built the historical landmark that we all know as the Pagoda today. 937 Palmer Avenue in Mamaroneck, New York. My dad, Gene Warrington, took over the stand in the 1950s and ran it for another 60, 65 years. I learned everything from my grandfather, actually. I grew up in the business, you know, as a kid helping out. We're just so proud to carry on something that he started. a puppy dog with the chocolate shake? Due to the children's passion and wanting to honor their grandfather, we're expanding and it's, it's a lot of fun. We just opened our new location in White Plains. In addition to this location in White Plains and Stanford, we've got a couple food trucks that are busy nonstop. We're really getting out there now in our 100th year. And it's quite an honor for us this year to be awarded the Chairman's Recognition Award by the VCW, especially in 2019, because this is our centennial anniversary. We're so thankful and we're just so proud and hopefully our grandfather is looking down on us and he's proud of us as well.